Are you ready to do some ironing? I know, I know. <laughs> Hey everyone, Kristen Som here, and today we're going to make the iron for our oh so delightful, so happy quilt. So we have section one and section two done, and there was a question somebody asked me why I had my um, my floss tacked down into the so happy blog. It was just showing that way on the last part photo it is not tacked down um we should have this taped out of the way i just had it off so that you could see the entire part that we've got done don't worry <laughs> all right so that's section one and two and then we started on section three and we have our three um spool blocks so i want to point out make sure when you sew these together most people haven't sewn them together yet and so that's fine but notice that this thread that comes down just make sure that your your spools are right side up not not turned um, wrong because of that thread the thread be, should be coming off of the top of your spool so when you put that together just make sure of that all right so today we're going to do the iron so the iron block is on page 21 it should be pretty simple i think um, there are some pieces to this so let's see we're on page 21 in our booklet and it goes through to page 23. So um, a little bit of stuff to this one. All right, so let's quickly go over what we need for today and grab your packet if you did your packets. All right, so the first part is our main fabric. This is a big one, all right? And it is light colored. So make sure that you're backing these with fusible stabilizer, all right? This is our, our biggest fabric for this one, I believe. So make sure also, did you see me picking off some of the um, threads? If you have any threads or anything, they can show up on this light fabric. So just check it really quickly. You don't want any Thing showing through on this light fabric and that's why we use our fusible stabilizer one of the reasons we certainly don't want puckering on this big fabric all right so this one we are going to start with at 12 and a half by six and a half that's a really big one 12 and a half by six and a half and i want to point out that there is a specific um pdf and um, file for those using a five by seven hoop on this one. Otherwise, everyone else, we will be using a six by 10 or larger hoop. All right, so 12 and a half by six and a half on your main fabric. It is white with little gray geometric um, designs on it. All right, that's our main fabric. And then we have the iron accent and some applique glitter. We've got some fun stuff on this. All right, so the um the iron accent this is a taffy colored pink pink salmon taffy colored um silky solid so no design on it just regular and this one is going to be five and a half by three and a half we're going to start with that at five and a half by three and a half i did back mine with fusible stabilizer help ward off puckers there's a little plus sign sv oh there's an svg file for those using cutting machines that's what that little accent thing is all right so five and a half by three and a half for our um iron accent uh fabric all right and then we have the um the glitter sheet so just two applique pieces not bad at all um so it's a black applique um vinyl it's a glitter vinyl so you always whenever we have the glitter vinyl you always want to take off that top layer um it's a sticky topping make sure to take that off okay you can do it now do it right before you're going to use it it doesn't matter um, and we will use the iron to help seal this to keep it in place um, or to adhere it and this one we're going to start with that five by three this is the black glitter vinyl and five by three don't forget to take off that topping and then we are going to have a black and white um twine i put mine in a baggie to help keep it safe from getting lost so the um black and white uh twine that came in our embellishment kit and we're going to start with this at nine inches we'll cut it down while we're, we're going to use this while we embroider just like how we did the the floss on the um pin cushion block so nine inches to start with for the black and white twine keep it somewhere safe until you're ready to use it so it doesn't get lost and then we are going to have batting. So our batting for this one is going to be 11 by five, big piece of batting, 11 by five for your batting. I'm using Kimberbell Project Batting. 
and I just got some from uh, my girlfriend's quilt shop for our May cuties. Are you ready to start the May cuties? We're going to do that too. That'll be fun. All right, so um, 11 by 5 for your batting, and then we're going to quilt this with zigzag 2. Zigzag 2 in a 4 by 10 vertical design. So that zigzag comes in horizontal and vertical, so make sure to choose the one that you want for your quilt. Um, 4 by 10 vertical design. Both the the quilting design and the embroidery design will be centered in the hoop. There are special cut instructions and there's some special information with the twine. So I'll go over that when we get there. Um, so if you are doing this in a smaller hoop, um, like I said, the five by seven users, there is a specific file for you. Um, but for the quilting, either way, you want quilting that is four by 10. So the easy way to do that would be a four by six and a four by four, whatever it will work for you. But four by six and four by four will equal out to four by 10. So you just wanna make sure you have the full quilting on that long piece of mean fabric. All right, I think that's all that we talk about at this point. Um, like I said, there's some special instructions coming up, but I will go over that uh, when we get there.
So what are you doing for your goal? So remember my goal is, um, finding things that bring you joy. So it's easy to get down on some negative things, especially during the winter when there's not nice weather, but, um, finding joy, good vibes, things that are, are going well in your life. I'm going to tell you one thing that did not bring me joy yesterday. I broke a tooth. So today I get to go to the dentist <laughs> and have an expensive new crown. That's going to be a bummer. Um, and the funny thing is, is I broke it on a salad. I was eating salad that had crushed up, um, almonds in it. And, um, that it broke my tooth. I, I felt it right away and, and chomped on my own tooth. And that was just not fun, not fun and, and expensive. And, um, this cancer blocker pill that I'm in, it makes my bones brittle and my teeth and my hair won't grow. And <laughs> it's just fun stuff. Let me tell you. So that's why you want to find the joy, right? You have these, everybody's got stuff that happens in our life that isn't going well. You have issues with family or friends or whatever it is and, um, stuff breaks and things don't work and there's always negatives, right? So you have to make sure to find the positive. So on Sunday, I got to go for a bike ride with my bike club, which was really, really fun to see all of my friends that I haven't seen because our cycling group, we don't get together for seven months. I mean, there's little things here and there, but, um, for the most part during the cold winter, we're not out riding our bikes. And so it was really fun. It was crazy windy, like crazy windy. I mean, 15 to 25 mile an hour winds with 40 mile an hour gusts of wind. So it was good to be in a pack. We ride in a little peloton and, and close to each other. And so, um, you're each working together to fight that wind. And so that was really helpful and it was really fun to see my friends. So I will include photos that show the fun times that we had. And we actually went to a winery after, um, which was really fun. I don't drink, but, um, it was fun just to sit and chat with friends and, and have a good time with, with my friends. So what are you doing that brings you joy or whatever you your goal is, I want to hear about it. I really do. I have to hurry because I have a dentist appointment, but I want to show you my shirt. This, this is one of my favorites. I love this one. So somebody sent me a link to this and said, Oh, you have to get this shirt or you have to get this design and make it into a shirt. And so I immediately did because I totally agreed. It's so cute. It is from, um, tattered stitcher, tattered stitches. And I don't remember. It says, enjoy the journey. Like how perfect is that for? Oh, so delightful when I'm finding joy. And I added, of course, bling, because I like to do that. And it's just such a fun um, design. I really, really, really like this one. The shirt is a sweater from um, Macy's. And if you have big arms, you are not going to fit into this because it's super tight on me and I have really thin little arms. And so... <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I've bought this sweatshirt in other ones. And this one, I think that they just messed up on it because it's so tight. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But anyway, um, Macy's, I got the, the sweater from Macy's and the design from Tattered Stitches. I will add a link underneath this video. It's a great design for a tandem um, bicycle. So anyway, just fun stuff.